Why, hello there, YouTube, and welcome back to probably what will be the last of my Scream horror-related videos for a while. So, I've reviewed all the Scream movies as well as seen them. I've ranked them all. So now I thought I would do a ranking on the ghost faces from each movie. So, Ghostface is probably one of the most unique killers in a horror franchise, as it's not just one person. It has been various people throughout the series. We've had about 12 people take on the Ghostface identity throughout six films. So I'm going to be ranking all them up from my, my least favourite to my most favourite. So it's all my personal opinion. I will warn you though, if you have not seen Scream 6 yet, then do not watch this video, okay? Go see Scream 6 because I'll be doing some spoiler reveals on the killer's identities in that one. So just a word of warning there. So let's get on with the ranking of the ghost faces. So coming in at number 12 is Charlie Walker from Scream 4, played by Casey, is it, um, yeah, Casey Culkin, um, yeah, this guy was a bit obvious, he was a, a horror nerd a bit too much, I was expecting it, it might be one of them two nerdy guys, but yeah, I was right in assuming, but I didn't think that there would be a second killer, but I thought, oh come on, of course there'll have been, been more than one killer, and we did get another killer which we'll get to a bit later but this one is the most obvious and it was kind of unlike I did find it very unlikable when he revealed these true colors but yeah he, he is number 12 number 11 is Richie Cri uh, Krish Krush Kirch you know from Scream the 2022 requel uh, played by Jack Quaid, um, he was, well, he turned out to be one of the Ghostface killers who was inspired by his girlfriend's dad, who we all know is Billy Loomis, and his girlfriend in that was Sam. Um, but looking at it, I kind of think he was just kind of pathetic, how he wanted to be the next big thing, and yeah. And then, you know, it comes, it resurfaces in the next movie, but yeah, um, I mean, I kind of saw it was a, a little obvious, but yeah, I just wasn't a fan of his ghost face, but still, a good surprise to know, to see him as one, and continuing the next ghost face in this film with number 10, number 10 is Amber Freeman from Scream 2022. Now, I thought she was an okay character, but I didn't really like her much as Ghostface. She was just bitchy and whiny and very unlikable at this point, and it's like you could not wait for her to die. But upon second viewing, the clues did, you know, I did spot some clues there. But yeah, Scream 5 was a good, you know, reboot for the series, but the Ghostface killers were just. No, I just didn't find likeable characters when they revealed themselves. Just being honest. So, number nine is, spoiler now, Wayne Bailey, Scream 6. The detective from the first one. Now, like I said, I worked this out very quickly on who the killers could be. When, the, when Quinn said that her brother died and that uh, her dad transferred, you know, to the New York police and stuff and with you know Sam getting a phone call from Richie's number and that I thought oh god it, I, I just I just put two and two together I just did and then it just became predictable from then on like when he's saying that uh, Kirby is the killer and that I knew it was just bullshitting and that and again Scream 6 was kind of a rehash of Scream 2, like the Scream from 20 last year was sort of a rehash of the original Scream, how the finale took place in the same house that the first finale did. But yeah, an obvious ghost face. Coming in at number 8, it is Ethan Landry Scream 6. Again, the younger brother of Richie and again, 
uh, at first he kept it good. You know, I, I, I actually got, in fact, yeah, I actually got him off guard. I didn't know, oh, hang on, no, he's number seven. No, number eight is Bail is Quinn Bailey, the detective's daughter. Sorry, yes, Quinn Bailey. Uh, she is number eight. Um, I, I, again, obviously, I told you how I worked it out and stuff. And when she was killed in it, I knew they were pulling a screen free. So I'm thinking she's got to be the killer, and I was my instincts were right. But yeah, back to number seven, Ethan Landry, Scream Six. Now he was very. Uns I didn't expect him to be a killer, so it still got me off guard. I thought there'd still be two ghost faces. I thought it'd be Richie's dad and sister out for revenge, but it wasn't. Turns out there was another sibling, and it was Ethan. And yeah shocked me with that so for the first time we saw three ghost faces instead of two but then he just became a again unlikable and sleazy when he you know showed off his true colors and his demise was somewhat satisfying that's the little version right number six and we have at number six roman bridger scream free the only ghost face in the series that went solo and I like the revelation Sydney made with him and how he faked his death you know to rule him out as a suspect but then he you know revealed to be Ghostface um, yeah he nicely you know unveiled himself and then turned out to be Sydney's long-lost half-brother but there have been better Ghostfaces I think on this list so coming in at number five it is Mickey Alteri. Is that his name? Played by Timothy Ulthon in Scream 2. Yes. Who was, again, a friend in this, then turned out to be the killer and was working with Billy's mother, Nancy Loomis. Nice reference to the actress, horror actress there. But, um, yeah. I didn't think he would be Ghostface, but he was. So that was a surprise there, with him being Ghostface. And it was quite a good Ghostface. I think Timothy Lafont is a very good actor when he came to be Ghostface. So coming in at number four, it is, again, Mrs. Loomis, Nancy, from Scream 2. Again, she was in plain sight and was posing as like a journalist, but then turned out to be... You know, on a revenge killing for Billy from the previous movie. And, um, yeah, she hid herself good. And I like that twist at, you know, at the end of Scream 2, before the franchise escalated as it is now. So, three now, top three, and at number three is Stu Mocker from Scream 1996. I just love the guy. Matthew Lillard is a very good, talented, funny actor. Even in the film when they did some scenes in there, he improvised and Wes Craven loved it that much. He kept them in and I can see why. I mean, to me nowadays, yeah, I always know him as Shaggy Rogers from Scooby-Doo. But, yeah. I, I liked when you know it turned out to not just be one killer, but two. They really flipped it on the head and was fresh at the time. And, yeah, he was witty and wacky and funny. I liked Stu. And people believe that he is still out there now, alive and well. And people have been thinking, come on, he's got to come back in this one. He's got to come back in this one. The original idea for Scream 3 was that he was going to come back. But due to some scheduling conflict, he, he couldn't commit to it. So, which is a shame. But hey, Scream 7, make it happen. I know it won't be a surprise, but it'll just be so nice to see that old face again. And at number two is Billy Loomis from Scream, the original, yes, Sydney's boyfriend, who, you know, we all thought was the killer, then they took our scent off it, but very cleverly, he revealed to be, you know, the killer with Stu. Played by Skeet Aldridge, who made de-aged cameos in the last two movies as Billy, you know, sort of being like a subconscious in Sam's mind. I like that they brought him back briefly for those roles and you know Billy Loomis has gone down as a legend in the franchise and was a good killer. 
as well. And I liked, I liked that. But unfortunately, my number one pick at the time when I first saw it, it really did get me off guard and I didn't suspect it would be this one. Number one it is Jill Roberts Scream 4, played by Emma Roberts, Sydney's cousin in this. She really got me off guard. I was not suspecting it'd be her, but it was. And I was like, holy shit, I didn't see that coming. I thought there'd just be one killer, but no, two killers again. And she almost got away with it. She actually did manage to sort of recreate what Stu and Billy were planning in the first Scream, or at least she wanted to take the credit for herself. And that scene where she literally beats herself up to make it look staged and like Charlie did it. I was like, wow, she she's really thought this through, but her one flaw was you new. Know, she didn't kill Sydney, and she met her demise there. All ghost faces do in the end, and you've got to get him in the head. But yeah, I don't know how you'd rank these ghost faces, so there you are. You know, there's my ranking of all the ghost faces from my least favourite to most favourite. So there you have it. How would you rank these? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and share with your friends. And feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and to hit that notification bell. I've been Random Ross and this has been my Ghostface Rankings. So until next time, good up nightmares.